Thank you for being here on Meteorologist Brian Shields. I want to show you what could help stop hurricanes as we get into the upcoming hurricane season, and it provides a wrinkle into the uh, overall hurricane outlook. So I'll cover that. Let me touch on this first, though. This is what I talked about yesterday, the hot spots, the heat content. You see here across the Caribbean, near Jamaica, for example, these brighter uh, yellow showing up, those are areas of high heat content. What is that? Well, that those are areas of warm water that is deep. The warm water goes far down. Now, as a hurricane uh, develops, it feeds off of warm water. Uh, over warm water, uh, it kind of uh, gets stronger and stronger. Uh, but with that, it will eventually pull up some cool water from the surface, and that can uh, sometimes help weaken a system. But areas of high heat content, the warm water goes far down. So the water it pulls back up is, is still on the warm side and that can allow things to rapidly strengthen. So uh, areas of warm water that goes far down are a big concern during the hurricane season. On top of that, the water temperatures themselves are very warm. Look at these orange shading showing up, the Gulf, the Bay, parts of the Atlantic, and then even back through the uh, Caribbean, these are water temperatures that are running above average and well above average. Even some record warm water temperatures for this time of year. Looking at some of the water temperatures right near Jamaica, Haiti, 27, 28 degrees Celsius, near 29 degrees Celsius, uh, parts of Honduras uh, over toward uh, Nicaragua. So 83, 84 degrees uh, uh, Fahrenheit. So water temperatures are warm. That's not necessarily a good thing. Again, that could increase the number of uh, hurricanes out there. But here's the wrinkle, and this is is what could be uh, kind of that hurricane stopper, so to speak, as we go forward. It's the dry air and that Saharan dust, right, that a lot of us are familiar with. Now, this is a map. I know it's a little bit different, but it shows where some of the dust is. Now, as a meteorologist, I know that it's not in all of these areas. Uh, what we're seeing here is I'm looking for the orange shading on your screen, and this is some of the dust. Look at off the coast of Africa, for example. Now, this here, as you get back toward uh, the uh, the Gulf right here, this is actually dry air, not, not dust, but this dust here is going to start to uh, roll in. So, on a map like that, sometimes the the very dry air uh, and the dust show up the uh, same way, but it's my job as a meteorologist to, to know that. Now, let me show you some of the dust that's about to move in. So here we are in the Caribbean. This tan shading here, this is some of the dust that moves in. The dust a lot of times comes with stable air, sinking air, so that doesn't allow hurricanes and tropical storms to build up. So the dust oftentimes is a wrinkle to the forecast. Now, this is over the next couple days. By tomorrow, we're going to start to see uh, one round of dust. It's not going to be too thick, but Barbados, St. Vincent, the Grenadines, over toward the ABC Islands, we're going to see some increased dust, and we'll see that as well. This is into the weekend. You can see stress. Here's Jamaica. Here's Haiti. Look at some of the dust as we get into the weekend and early next week. It's going to move all the way towards Central America. It's not a big pocket of dust, uh, but you may notice that. Uh, it may uh, increase uh, uh, some of your, your sinus problems, uh, but some increased dust, and then a large pocket of some dust coming off the uh, coast of Africa that will mo be moving a a across. But this is what could stop some hurricanes as we get into the upcoming uh, year. Sometimes the dust or the dry air kind of gets sucked in uh, to or at least near some of these uh, developing hurricanes and prevents them from developing too terribly much. So the dust can provide a wrinkle into the forecast. Now as we get deeper into the hurricane season, we get uh, these uh, bigger tropical waves that come off the coast of Africa. Africa that move across. Why do they move across and toward the Caribbean? Well, the global trade winds, the pattern of overall winds, that's the same thing that allows some of the dust and dry air to move across. So at times you get some of those strong tropical waves or disturbances that moving across, uh, that move across the Atlantic. And at other times you get the pockets of Saharan dust that move across. And I'll be watching that as we go through the hurricane season to see if we have uh, a lot of named storms or maybe not so many. Now, here's the list of names. Uh, you have uh, Andrea, Barry, Chantel, Jerry, Karen, Lorenzo, Tanya, Van, Wendy. As we go through the list, this is the Atlantic Basin, so the Atlantic Gulf and the Caribbean. There's a different set of names 
as you get into different areas around the world. For example, as we swing over toward the Eastern Pacific, Alvin, the first name on the list, so you may hear of an, an A name storm, but it may be elsewhere, so I'll keep you posted on that, but Alvin, Barbara, uh, you get down the list, Eric, uh, Mario, uh, Tico, Velma, as we uh, look ahead for the Eastern Pacific, so that's what I'll be watching over toward parts of Mexico, Central America on the Pacific side, even parts of California. That's the list of names for there. Now, I want to show you a better chance of rain and storms on the way, and even some severe weather again in parts of the U.S. Uh, you can see a few areas of rain just bubbling up right there in the Central uh, Caribbean, increased rain over toward Colombia. That is a sign that we're going to start to see a higher chance of rain. Now, as you get over toward the southeast U.S., there's a little pocket of some colder air aloft that allows showers and storms to rise. So I'll show you in a second some of that severe weather potential over toward the U.S. In the meantime, watch some of the rain build exactly where we need to get it. Easterly flow for us in the eastern Caribbean. Dominica, Grenada, Trinidad, a hit or miss shower, but it starts to build still there. Honduras, watching Costa Rica, Panama, Colombia, the higher chance of rain, and then scattered Jamaica, Haiti, Dominican Republic, Puerto Rico. But watch this with me. Let's go ahead into tomorrow and you'll start to see some of that moisture lifting. An old front is going to pass by. That's going to allow some moisture to build. So starting tomorrow in Jamaica, for example, a higher chance of scattered areas of rain and storms. Haiti, the Dominican Republic, the same thing. Let's get into the weekend. This is Saturday. Look at that moisture. Costa Rica, Panama feeding right up through parts of Cuba, the Turks and Caicos, southern Bahamas, that higher chance of rain. And with it, if we have this for a couple days in some spots get repeat showers and thunderstorms, we could see a flood threat because you see here on Sunday, same area seeing that rain potential. So giving you the heads up, Jamaica, Haiti, the Dominican Republic, even Puerto Rico, Turks and Caicos, back toward Costa Rica, Panama, the higher chance of rain will be with us. Winds are going to be out of the east to start, but look at this northerly flow near Belize, Honduras, Cuba, and the Cayman Islands. Uh, in between this is an old front. Winds out of the north here, winds out of the east here, so the front is sitting right through here. Very weak, obviously, this time of year. We're not looking at a big temperature change or anything like that but look at that northerly flow all the way down near Nicaragua this is by tomorrow so you can see as we get into the weekend even a northerly flow, a hint of one in Jamaica, while we have that easterly flow right across the Eastern Caribbean. So that front itself is sitting right in through here, just enough to help kind of feed in some of that moisture. And that's why we're going to start to see that better chance of rain as we get into the weekend. The seas themselves, nothing too rough. We're looking good. Southeast coast of the U.S. today, things are a bit choppy around three meters. Meters here, feet on the right hand side of your screen up to 11 feet in spots, but you can see a lot of blues on the map. This is by Saturday right here and then into Sunday. So overall, nothing too terribly rough on the waters as we work our way into the weekend, but I'll be watching that chance of rain. Watching some of the rain near Bermuda today, Atlantic region of Canada catching a break, but right in through here, Kentucky over toward Tennessee, uh, parts of Arkansas, Mississippi and Alabama. Uh, there could be that little severe weather threat today and even into tomorrow, possibility of hail. That's some ice ice falling from the uh, sky. The raindrops just stay up there where it's cold and then they eventually get heavy enough where they fall. As we work our way into tomorrow, you see some of that rain uh, uh, east coast of the United States right there. As it starts to lift to the north, it encounters colder air. So as we work our way into Saturday, see right there some of the snow over toward parts of New Brunswick and Maine getting some snow and then watching the increased rain again by the weekend. This is Sunday into Bermuda and watching out for kind of a sloppy mess on Sunday. Much of the Atlantic region of Canada with some rain, even some thunderstorms that will be possible. So rain totals are not too high in the Bahamas yet, but as we work our way into the next couple days, Jamaica, Haiti, the Dominican Republic, Puerto Rico, giving you the heads up. We're going to start to see some scattered thunderstorms, some areas of rain. Look at the white showing up. We'll have some spots of 100 millimeters of rain or four inches of rain. That is going to lead to some flooding and some river rises. Watching those river crossings in Haiti and the Dominican Republic could see some rivers rising by the weekend in parts of Puerto Rico. Some increased rain as well. U.S. and British Virgin Islands this weekend. Elsewhere for much of us in the Eastern Caribbean, anywhere from Anguilla, Antigua, Barbuda, St. 
Kids and Nevis, not as much. Martinique, Barbados, Trinidad, rain totals are going to stay on the low side. They've dropped off some as well. Guyana and Suriname, but we swing back here. Costa Rica, Panama, Colombia again higher rain totals with that moisture feed. You see it right there lifting up to the north, watching out for some areas of rain. Could see uh, 50 millimeters of rain, parts of Honduras, not as much in Belize. Texas, Mexico, mainly on the dry side. So the rain chance about to build in Jamaica. I'll be watching the weekend in particular for our scattered to widespread areas of rain and storms. Rain chance will go up slightly this weekend in the Cayman Islands, most of it just off to the east. I'll be watching how close some of that rain gets. Flip side, Trinidad, our rain chance not too high, 20 to 30% chance. Barbados, a 30% chance today, just a 20% chance tomorrow. In an isolated chance of a shower the next three days in St. Lucia. Rain chance staying very low in Grenada. A lot of sunshine around. And as I mentioned, some of that dust is going to start to move in, especially this weekend. We'll be seeing that. St. Vincent, the Grenadines, you may notice some of that. Martinique, rain chance at 30%. In a 20 to 30% chance as we get into Dominica, a 20 to 30% chance as well. Guadalupe. A loop, 30% chance of a shower today. Antigua, Barbuda could get about a 40% chance of a passing shower tomorrow. Uh, and we'll do that again. St. Kitts and Nevis, Montserrat, rain chance not too high. 20 to 30% chance in Guilla and St. Bart's, St. Martin, Saba, and Stacia. A lot of sunshine on the way today, but Puerto Rico end of the week into the weekend. We need to watch out for some thunderstorms and I'll monitor that uh, flooding and then eventually we'll see that rain chance starting to bump up. I'll keep an eye on that for us in the U.S. and British Virgin Islands. Southern Bahamas by the weekend, the rain chance will be higher and that includes the Turks and Caicos you see on Saturday. We're up to a 60% chance of getting some of the rain and look at it build tomorrow, Saturday, Sunday as well. The Dominican Republic in Haiti, river crossings will become a concern with that rain chance getting higher. Higher. That'll help fill up some of the cisterns. On the flip side, we need to monitor some of that runoff and the potential of even some uh, rock slides. Belize, our rain chance not too high, mainly dry again. Aruba, Curacao, and Bonaire, 20, maybe 30% chance of getting a shower, 40 to 50% chance across Guyana, Suriname. Still active, but not as active as what we had a few days ago. Uh, Cuba, rain chance staying on the low side. Rain chance building, though. Costa Rica and Panama, as I was showing you. 40% chance in Nicaragua, 40 to 50% chance in the next two days in Honduras, especially closer to the water. Guatemala and El Salvador back through Mexico City were generally on the dry side, and that includes the Yucatan Peninsula, Merida, rain chance staying low the next two days. Northern Colombia, it's going to be building with a higher chance of rain in about a 40% chance in northern Venezuela. And we'll keep an eye on these fronts that are going to move by Bermuda with that chance of rain at times. So new areas of rain building, watching out for that flood threat the next few days. And this is a sign of more changes to come as we get closer to the true wet season for some of us and the hurricane season. Monitoring those hurricane ingredients showed you some of the kind of, I guess, bad news yesterday with that potential of uh, hurricanes that could rapidly intensify over the areas of high heat content. Today, I talked about how the dust could play a wrinkle in the forecast in a good way and lower the number of hurricanes. So lots to cover uh, as we go over the next few days with that chance of rain and over the next few weeks as we get closer to the hurricane season, which is now 52 days away. Thank you for being with me. Have an awesome day ahead.